once you first start IntelliJ, you're gonna get to a screen that looks something like this. So what we wanna do in this video is create our very first project and see how to find our way around IntelliJ. So to do that, we're gonna go here to create new project. After that, we're gonna go, well, it's already got Kotlin here, but if that's not the case, you can go to Kotlin right here, choose Kotlin JVM. We're not gonna deal with JavaScript for now. Then you click next and you can give this project a name. This can be an arbitrary name and I'm gonna call it Kotlin Programming. The project SDK is the Java JDK version 1.8, referring to version eight of Java. And what's important is this Kotlin runtime down here. So what we're gonna have to do is click create and just use the library from the plugin. IntelliJ comes with the Kotlin plugin pre-installed, so we don't have to worry about this. And we can just hit OK, click on Finish. And there we are, that's our very first project, and this is IntelliJ. So notice how the interface of IntelliJ is separated into different sections. So this is gonna be the main editor later on, where we can edit our files. And on the left side here, we find our project view. There are various different views which are kind of similar to choose from here, like just project files, where it's like a directory structure, but usually we're gonna to stick to the project view. Now, if we unfold our project folder right here, we're gonna see different directories inside it. The very first is a hidden folder that is created by IntelliJ and that we don't have to worry about. The next is basically our playground. This is the source folder where we can put our Kotlin files into later on. And lastly, this IML file is also an IntelliJ file that just defines how the project is set up. So we won't need to modify this in any way. Now you may have noticed that your IntelliJ looks different than mine. I'm not sure what the default theme is, but you may have a dark theme. And if you want to change this, you can go to file, hit settings, and the very first thing you probably want to change is the appearance. Now you can choose between different themes, which is the major part of the appearance. And usually I would use the Darkula theme. If I hit apply, you're gonna see how it looks. So everything is a bit darker and the editor font is gonna be brighter. But for the purposes of this course, I'm gonna use the light theme because that's better for video creation, I was told. So just use the theme that you prefer. Next, we have this editor tab right here. And if you unfold this and go to colors and fonts, you can find font here as the very first item. And here you can create your own scheme by clicking save as, and let's just call this my scheme. Hit okay. And now we are able to change the font. So let's say I wanna use this font over here and we can also change its size. If we apply, that would apply to code that we've written in our editor right here, but there's nothing there yet. So those are basically all the basic settings that I wanna go through now. We're probably gonna go into more detail about IntelliJ and how to use it more productively later on. But for now, this is all you're gonna need to be able to write your Kotlin programs. So let's just close this down. And in the next video, we're gonna start using Kotlin. So I hope you're still with me because the fun part is just starting. In the next lecture, we're gonna start seeing some Kotlin code. So see you there.